This short tutorial will discuss item statuses as well as we'll take a peek at the item holding table for more information. Item statuses are different in different ILS systems. And I think the easiest way to know an item status in Koha is when we go to the item search. So I'm going to go to the top search and just click that item search. As I scroll down, a couple of these <clears throat> show status. So you can see I have some statuses such as ordered, not for loan, staff collection. These are optional. These are things that you can add or remove through the authorized values. And these are the statuses that are considered more of like the ability to not check them out. We also have statuses such as lost. So you have your claimed returned, your long overdue, your lost and missing. And those are what Koha considers statuses as well as withdrawn. Damage is also in there as well. If we were to look at just all the items with a status of ordered through the item search, I can see that I have that not for loan status column called ordered over to the, um, the right hand side. If I were to open this up in a new tab and we can look at the entire bib record plus that item through this item holding table, I can see I have a status column and that's really that not for loan option. Um, and this is just that not for loan specifically ordered. Is that what that status is saying here? Other things we can see the item type, which is how long it's going to cir circulate in Koha. It, you can also identify it through a format, but it is driving that circulation. I have my current location and my home location. So for multi-branch libraries, this would be where the item is currently, as well as where its permanent home is. We don't have a call number here, but that is a column that will always show. We have a last seen date. That would be the date that it was physically checked out or checked in. Data sessioned is the date that it was cataloged and the barcode is going to list there. There are absolutely more item fields that do not show on that item holding table because it has no data. Once I add some data, say a public note, save those changes, go back to that normal view, I will actually see that public note field. So more, fields that have information will appear here, but then sometimes things that have a blank, so that call number is always going to show. Let's pop back over to my item search and edit that search. And instead of looking at ordered, we can also look at, let's just look at all the withdrawn items and see how that looks in the item holding table. And open this up in a new tab. Oh, this is a good one. So my status column is, is different from the previous title. My status is available for this first one, which means it can check out. It's not ordered, it's not in processing, it's not not for loan, it is available and that's that status. Then I also see that I have some different statuses here. We have this, one of these items marked as lost and also withdrawn. And then we have another one just marked withdrawn. So this column will hold valuable information for your circulation staff to understand what exactly is this and can I go grab it off the shelf or is it potentially not available because it's lost or damaged? Um, so this status column is really helpful. In the blog post, I'll link to two other really helpful documents Andrew, another educator, wrote when a status is not a status, as well as all about item statuses within Koha. Thanks for watching.